Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. So today I am gonna be showing you how I made this wood grain and vinyl V split tumbler. There are so many color combinations, vinyl combinations, um, different things that you can do. So just stay tuned, follow along, and I will walk you through the steps and show you how I came up with this one. So for this sunflower, V split vinyl tumbler. I'm going to be using this glitter sunflower vinyl from Expressions Vinyl and 20 ounce skinny from Makerflow. I've never done one of these before and I've really never watched any full tutorials. So I don't know if this is how other people do it or not, but this is how I'm going to do it. So before I get started with my wood grain technique that I'm going to be doing on the cup here in a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and get my vinyl situated. Um, just wrapping it around the cup and measuring, marking, um, finding the height of my cup and going ahead and cutting all of this with my paper cutter. pretty simple once you get the circumference you know part taken care of you'll just mark the bottom center of the vinyl and then use your ruler to mark your V shape and then again use your paper cutter and slice that out and there you have your V shape for your vinyl wrap next I just grabbed my rust-oleum two times white and gave my sanded tumbler a really good coat and then I move straight into my alcohol ink wood grain technique. I'm using a chip brush, an art brush, and some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And guys, I do have a whole entire wood grain tutorial. Um, I don't claim that I ha create the most perfect wood grains, but I do love what I have come up with here um, technique wise. So that's just what I'm doing here, just applying the ink and using that chip brush to um, create the wood grain look. Um, I spray my brush a lot with alcohol and wipe back over it. And again, if you'll just watch that other tutorial on wood grains, it, I explain it really well through there. Um, I then seal with Rust-Oleum two times clear coat and allow that to dry for 48 hours. Okay, so my cup has now been dry for officially 24 hours. So I am gonna be applying the sunflower vinyl and I'm gonna be doing this with the um, wet vinyl technique, um, where you dip your vinyl in water and then apply it, and it gives you some flexibility to kind of move your vinyl around and all, and they say that it just makes the whole process a little easier. We're about to find out. Okay, so I just need to get my vinyl separated and started here. And the reason I mentioned that I let this wood grain alcohol ink and uh, spray sealer dry for 24 hours is because I thought I was going to be putting my first layer of bright tone on it like right now and then applying the vinyl, but I think it's sealed to get enough that I can go ahead and apply the vinyl and it'll be okay. So, oh, this is a little bit sheer. I hope that looks okay. I did not realize that. Oh, I'm kind of nervous about this, and this is the only vinyl glitter I have left, other than the scrap pieces I cut off earlier. I don't know if this is gonna be easier or not. Hmm. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be easier. Can you guys hear my kitty cat? She wants to come in here so bad, but she's not allowed. It took me a couple of tries um, sticking it on, pulling it off, but it did come off really easily. And I was able to just adjust it and get it lined up really well. And here I'm just rolling it on this hard surface to press out, push out, squeegee out any extra water that's trapped underneath. And it'll probably be a good idea for me to wait until tomorrow morning 
to apply my Crystal Lac just to make sure that all the water that is trapped underneath here has time to dry. Okay, you guys, this cup sat overnight um, I, just to ensure that all the water from me applying the vinyl with um, water had you know, completely dried. So I'm about to get started with my first layer of Bright Tone on here. So I'm just gonna put that on real quick, let it dry for four hours, and then I'll show you my pinstripe and then I'm adding to it trying to decide if I'm doing gold or black. Not sure yet, just kind of have to wait and see what strikes me at the time. Um, but I just wanna get good coverage on here. And with the bright tone, you know, you're putting on very thin layers. So, um, and I know it's gonna take quite a few layers, but that's okay because I, my favorite part about this is you know, I have said this in the last two or three videos that I've made now, um, no gloves, no heat gun, no respirator. So there's just um, lots of great benefits to using the Bright Tone Crystal Lock products. It just takes a minute or two to apply this. And you just wanna bring it all the way from the top to the bottom, ensuring good coverage. and it's self-leveling. So there's a lot of perks to this. And here you can see that I am about to apply my vinyl design. I just created this in Cricut Design Space. It says, there's sunshine in my soul today. So I thought that'd be really cute with the sunflower wood grain look. And then I am using a metalized vinyl. I just cut out some pinstripes and I'm applying those. Oh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I struggle big time with metalized vinyl, but I think I finally got the cut figured out on my Cricut. So that was pretty easy. I'm just using an X-Acto knife to trim off the excess. And now I'm gonna be moving into my layers of bright tone on top of my vinyl here. Okay guys, so this is so different from epoxy because this is going to take super thin layers and quite a few of them. I did not keep up with how many layers I put on top here, but I did sand lightly, lightly sand between, uh, in previous videos I had said after the third coat, but I waited till after the fourth coat to lightly sand. And then I just continued on until I had a super smooth finish, you know, several layers over the top of that vinyl, just to ensure that, you know, it's not gonna be lifting or peeling or anything, but look at that shine. I think this turned out so super great. And as always, I do hope that you are encouraged by this video. I hope that you'll step out of the box and try new things and that you'll give me a thumbs up you know, to like, subscribe, and follow, ring the bell for future Tumblr tutorial notifications, and be sure to comment. Let me hear from you. I love interacting with you guys, and I just really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.